Okay, here we go. Star of Light, week two, take two. Apparently, Facebook did not want me to film this earlier at two o'clock. So, it's only 2.20, but, um, which tells you just how quick this card can be. But we're going to go ahead and do it. This is the one I just made. And we are going to do that again. It still didn't look very hard for my bone folder. So I'm still not entirely sure where it is. But here is a piece of basic black cardstock, cut in half hot dog style. So it's four and a quarter by 11 inches. And when you fold it into the card base, it's so much easier with the bone folder. You end up with four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm just gonna set that aside for now. We are going to stamp on the card insert first. This is a piece of Whisper White. And we are going to be using the basic gray. Just a reminder, when you're opening your stamp pads, look for the three dots. Then just push and flip. And there you have it. We're going to be using the basic gray to make a background squish. And I'm going to stamp off once and then put it right in the middle. And there we have the background swish. Close that up and then I use the basic black and we are putting the inside sentiment in basic black and it says became the light of the world. We're going to put the first half of that on the front of the card. And then we will go ahead and get out our glue and attach this to the inside of our card. We'll set this aside for now and pull out the big shot. I would recommend using the magnetic plate because you do not want this to slide around on you. And I'm using the outline of the star. And we're putting it on our card front. I think I want it right about there. Get the other cutting plate. Slip that on it and run it through. You end up with the front of your card with the star cut out and, oops, I dropped it, an additional star for another project. Now, I am going to take the card 
lay my glimmer paper on it, put this over it to kind of see where I want that glimmer paper, and I'm going to lift this up and glue my glimmer paper down. I can always tell when I've been working with glimmer paper because my black dog is laying on my feet it will be sparkly. Okay. And we'll finish getting the card front ready to go. Use the Whisper White ink pad. And this is where we put the first half of the sentiment. The light of heaven became the light of the world. Let's see how that goes. Then I have now been able to find my rhinestones. So for today's project, I pulled out my silver enamel dots, and that is what I am putting on the front of this card. Just add a little shine, and then I better close this up before I put something in it that I don't want to. Before we to attach the card front to the card, we will adhere some glue, but only around the edges. It doesn't stick very well to the glimmer paper. So we are gluing cardstock to cardstock. And there you have it, a relatively quick, beautiful, sparkly Christmas card. If you would like more products to make more of these for yourselves or your friends and family, you can check on my blog tomorrow. I will have this video and the link to all the products used to make this card on there. I will have a video online next Tuesday, Thursday at 2 o'clock, but it will not be live because I will be celebrating Christmas with my own family, and so you will be watching a pre-recorded video, and we will be making this card right here. So I will check on the comments and I will answer any questions you have and I will see you here next week. Bye.